Hey there, Comets. I'm back with another chapter of Frindle. Chapter 3, The Question. The first day of school was always a get acquainted day. Books were passed out, and there was a lot of chatter. Everyone asked, what did you do over the summer? Periods 1 through 6 went by very smoothly for Nick. But then came period 7. Mrs. Granger's class was all business. The first thing they did was take a vocabulary pretest to see how many of the 35 words for the week the kids already knew. Tremble, circular, orchestra, the list went on and on. Nick knew most of them. Then there was a handout about class procedures. After that, there was a review paper about cursive writing, and then there was a sample sheet showing how the heading should look on every assignment. No let up for 37 minutes straight. Nick was an expert at asking the delaying question, also known as the teacher stopper or the guaranteed time waster. At three minutes before the bell, in that split second between the end of the class's work and the announcement of tomorrow's homework, Nick could launch a question guaranteed to sidetrack the teacher long enough to delay or even wipe out the homework assignment. Timing was important, but asking the right question, that was the hard part. Questions about stuff in the news, questions about the college the teacher went to, questions about the teacher's favorite book or sport or hobby. Nick knew all the tricks, and he had been very successful in the past. Here he was in fifth grade near the end of his very first language arts class with Mrs. Granger, and Nick could feel a homework assignment coming the way a farmer can feel a rainstorm. Mrs. Granger paused to catch her breath, and Nick's hand shot up. She glanced down at her seating chart and then up at him. Her sharp gray eyes were not even turned up to half power. Yes, Nicholas? Mrs. Granger, you have so many dictionaries in this room, and that huge one especially. Where do all those words come from? Did they just get copied from other dictionaries? Is there a big book? It was a perfect thought grenade. Kapow! Several kids smiled and a few peeked at the clock. Nick was famous for this and the whole class knew what he was doing. Unfortunately, so did Mrs. Granger. She hesitated a moment and gave Nick a smile that was just a little too sweet to be real. Her eyes were the color of a thundercloud. Why, that is an interesting question, Nicholas. I could talk about that for hours, I bet. She glanced around the classroom. Do the rest of you want to know too? Everyone nodded yes. Very well then, Nicholas. Will you do some research on that subject and give a little oral report to the class? If you find out more of an answer yourself, it will mean much more than if I just told you. Please have your report ready for our next class. Mrs. Granger smiled at him again, very sweetly. Then it was back to business. Now, the homework for tomorrow can be found on page 12 of your Words Alive book. Nick barely heard the assignment. His heart was pounding and he felt small, very small. He could feel the tops of his ears glowing red, a complete shutdown. An extra assignment and probably a little black mark next to his name on the seating chart. Everything he had heard about his teacher was true. Don't mess around with the Lone Granger. That was chapter three, Comets. I'll be back next week with chapter four of Frindle. I hope that you are spending some time every day reading. I miss you. I hope you have a great weekend. See you later.